And so we continue on checking out the biggest problems Hearthstone has. And to make sure they're the biggest problems, we separate the smaller things from the big things. Biggest, my favorite thing being the Borklers. I hate that shit. I hate when my minions just disappear. It's important to know how Hearthstone works, the fundamental problems that we're facing as the players, so you don't feel bad when you face these problems, you have to expect them. Expect them to not be fun. Which is funny, the next thing I have to talk about is removals. Because Zeddy mentioned it. I don't feel that removals are a problem, but Zeddy wanted to talk about it. At least hinted towards that, but never said anything about it. Funny enough, now that I checked Zeddy's channel, 17 minutes ago, we have this. And you know it's spicy, we have to react to it before we continue this series. Not yeah, I mean, it's uh, talked about, we already touched on OTKs, because they just ignore everything on the board. They can ignore most of the things except armor, and armor is not available for most classes. Well, that sucks. There's no way to play around OTKs in that sense, then. My point you just get lucky, turn 5, lose, and Blizzard just refuses to nerf one card. They refuse to nerf mana cheating. Or the OTK that enables it for another expansion is just ridiculous. So we have a very well deserved rant Being on I'm this not topic, two, right? Yep. Two. I mean, the obvious outcome: opponent loses. Let's keep going. David is gonna nerf every card in the game by one mana. Honestly, makes sense. And technically, the way you would do this is that cards cannot cost zero mana. It's just very simple. Just like the echo effect has been properly tuned to never cost zero mana, most mana cheating effects should never reduce things to zero mana. Potentially, that's just how, ha how things have to work, period. Nothing should ever cost zero mana. That would fix a lot of problems. Duos up, up. There are exceptions, right? When it's explicitly is zero mana card or reduces itself to a zero mana card. It's sort of acceptable, but in normal situations, it should be just a rule. In fact, we can just talk about it. Zero mana cards. I'm sure it's going to occur again. But... It, if Zeddy talked about it, it's a pretty big problem. It's just, let's see what things can cause zero mana. Because this is different from mana cheating. It's not exactly the same thing. And if we want to talk about problems, we have to split it into smaller pieces. Not just put slap things together to the newbies. I want to know, personally, and I will speak out loud. This is how I make my content, and uh, if the viewers don't like the content, I at least like making it. I get zero dollars out of it. Maybe you like to subscribe and help me out, but uh, it's up to you. Yeah, this one explicitly says zero mana, and it's still kind of cringe. Understandable to some extent. This can come down. Zero mana, zero mana, disgusting shit. This comes down to zero mana. It, it would feel so much better to have cards like these. Simply because they're much more exclusive. Zero mana and pretty disgusting card. When it does that. Funny enough, that can create zero mana spells. That are very problematic. Because you're setting up your lethal. It is, again, you can craft lethal, that's kind of cool. Zero mana, is that is that cool? I don't know. It's very playable, though. I'll tell you that much. This was meant to be zero mana at the start, and it had to be nerfed. Like, it's, it's like, it could have stayed at seven, but technically not really. 
because it's a goddamn Borgler and deserves to be nerfed anyways. Most notorious is Shadow Step. If you can play the card immediately right after. Kind of cringe. The Astalor being the most notorious one. This one would still be one mana, but like, it's fine that way. We got the Shaman thing to inspire the whole episode or part discussion. But like this, as simple mana cheating, is not actually being played. There's a little bit of mana cheating here going on. Barely. I mean, it is being played, but like, shit. Oh, guess what? Fucking 1550 now costs zero mana. Out of nowhere. Had to be enabled. If it costed one mana, all of a sudden the game would be so much different. But it isn't that way. Oh, and Rogue has the stupid rotating hand thing. Penguin does not like it when he's he's outcompeted by other cards. Guess who was able to take advantage of zero mana effects and got nerfed? It would have been fine. Sharp Shooter would have been fucking fine, but a lot of shit costed zero mana. And uh, it used that if part of the game very effectively. This costs zero mana, and I, it pisses me off because uh, nobody plays. <laughs> I forgot one card that costs zero mana. Yep, and got nerfed because of that, but nerfed in a stupid fucking way. It's uh, it's a B. Yep, it's gonna be a B for me. Been other so it's uh, at least fun to see the sentiments that I made a perfect video at a perfect time. Let's go, baby. Then store okay in the game. I forgot if I fucking Zarimi priest doesn't change the score. I just know I will forget something. Shit caused zero mana, bro. Hey, they duck. Yeah, but well, at least sharpshooter didn't die just yet. Again, it will, so we're just gonna throw yeah 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 sure or the very end block footage from the master's tour one of the deciding games at the very end basically it was over turn three turn three because you can cheat out zero mana five fives and all this crazy stuff that you just can't deal with it's just a are you fucking kidding me there's more problems than i'm aware of jesus christ man things costing zero mana if you can duplicates with this bullshit all of a sudden you have two of them like what super hyper, hyper zero deck, mana. but it does win but it does win or lose really quickly it has no late game really it's all win or lose very quick. that's bad bro fucking scammer deck are you kidding me are we actually doing this a tier for zero mana cards i mean like Technically, it's the same thing, right? It's the same thing, but the fact that I just split off a big chunk of the subject and it's like, what? Mana cheating is definitely fucking combined, maybe it's S tier at this point. But one of the problems with it is it runs this stupid card, hell yeah, which has no counterplay anymore. Because no steam cleaner. It's so weird, bro. It is weird. But that's what we get. We get Wars Hearthstone over and over again. It just gets worse and worse. Cleaner, and you got turn 5 OTK deck that's also not interactive and lost a shot at Worlds. Just to plague RNG. Remember when Ball. Yeah, oh my god. The that's the scariest video anyone can make, Zeddy can make. For me, I'm I'm scaring the shit out of people, in a way. Because again, this number is going to reach 100,000. And the way out I'm celebrating Hearthstone 100,000 is by ranting really hard about the game. It's the only fun thing. We are a community of people frustrated about the game. Because eventually it had to happen. Eventually incompetence stacks on top of itself instead of being addressed 
and cleaned up. Because capitalism, boys, who cares? We have to care. We have to fucking build a better game somehow. We have to move on from this shit. One step at a time. Um, like Odin Warrior, which is... This is one of the best videos in recent times at this point. That just... It doesn't stop there. Miracle Rogue Nature Shaman. Let's keep going, bro. There's tour. What a weird fucking meta game. It's insane. What a weird game. This is why the only playable deck for me is <laughs> Hero Power Druid, bro. I can at least feel like I'm, you know, gaining armor and gaining attack and like I have ways to interact with all this like non-interactive shit. <laughs> so fucking stupid. Plague DK again. Oh, Rainbow is not Plague. So tier... Tier 3 also pretty much has all these, you know, OTKs. And then there's Handbuff Paladin. What? Just three decks, kind of. Down to Tier 3. And then what? Control Warrior, Dragon Druids, Highlander Druids, Highlander Shaman. The real decks are buried. Alright, that's cool. Stacked with like you know a what? Finally! Finally, this is playable, guys. This might actually be playable. Can you imagine? You just have to hand buff this thing. Razor scale playable, let's go, let's fucking... Woo! There we go. You did it. You're playable now. They fucking print battle cries, but they forgot to print it as a battle cry. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Why? They need to say battle cry in passive, something like that. It would be nice as well. It would be so funny if this comes into the meta game and nerfs the game on its own terms. That would be fucking ridiculous. But you just have to buff cards like these. For sure. Just to make sure that we have a tool that we can use somehow. Card makes me Yeah, so it's a pretty fucking weird card, isn't it? It's it stalls the game, it cannot be interacted with. And it has lifesteal. And it deals nine damage in total. That is fucking mental, bro. Like what the fuck? Honestly, we can talk about weapons. They could be a problem. We don't know. But we have a good head start. And Paladin adds onto the pile 100%. Let's talk about weapons. Weapon. Attributes. Uh, pretty annoying. It does a lot of things. This is pretty annoying. Because only a handful of weapons to choose from. It should be any weapon. Discover any weapon, because it's a little bit too powerful this way. Uh, especially at the rotation, edge of rotation. This is a normal card, but this is not. You know, like, there's a difference. And, but because it has two different runes, now it's, you know, legit, I guess. It's just like, it's the same power level of having two runes of any kind. It's the same thing. This is even actually less runes being used. Because you want to mix and match often enough. Have two and one. This is very close to a cure. It should be same power level, but it's not. Looking crazy. Then you look at these weapons and you fucking laugh. Like, what is that, right? That is crazy. The difference and why I want fucking Death Knight to disappear. Just for the time being, because it's a little bit too powerful right now. Well, it's my personal problem that I have to play Timber Tambourine most of the time. This is a problem for sure. This was a problem. Apparently it's not a problem anymore. The game is so much faster. What? 
<laughs> yeah, of course. Live steel weapons. Let's fucking go. And again, these cannot be interacted with. It's just so frustrating. I've seen this thing got played way too many times. But this is actually super OP as well. I'm gonna give weapons. Also, a bonus sentiment that I can't interact besides stones. Like, there might be a lack of taunts. Let's see how many taunts we have. At least three pages, please. Okay, we have plenty. Plenty of taunts, but it's still kind of cringe. And then, uh... Is there any class that lacks taunts? There's plenty of classes. We only have nine. So some classes disappeared. Hunter doesn't have taunts. This is important information. Who has taunts? The prologue has too many taunts. That's for sure. Mage and Rogue does not have a single taunt. Note that down, guys. <laughs> Their weakness. Exploit their weakness. Alright, I'm gonna put this over here in the B section. It plays out the same, but it feels like we kind of gone a little bit back towards that. And I'm sad, because that's probably the lowest Hearthstone's ever been at. Don't worry about it. We're only getting lower and a bit less early game scamming. That's what I'm looking for. I feel like it's achievable, but we need a really significant... No, the reason why a person would say, again, nerf everything by adding one mana to it is that there has to be a fundamental game change rule. Then a lot of things get fixed using that rule. Things not costing zero mana is a fucking easy rule to be honest it's not something anyone would get mad about just makes sense in so many ways and shuts down all of those fucking weird ass decks that are not supposed to exist anyways moving on removals so zeddy wanted to complain about removals but like probably couldn't quite do it because it makes no sense to me personally. It had, like, what are we talking about? Removals are not being played necessarily. You just play bigger minions. But it is kind of disturbing. And it's disturbing because it comes... Uh, I have Elder Scrolls Legends experience, right? And in Elder Scrolls Legends, we don't have Borklers. So the game is so much better without Borklers. But one thing we do have, removals. And the removals feel like ass, absolutely. And the removals in Elder Scrolls Legends, brace yourself, cost four mana or five mana or six mana. So on average is five mana for a removal and only like one color has it. There's five colors to choose from or five classes in a way. So what? Really? Five mana removals are a problem to another card game that I like? Removals are pretty toxic. But I would prefer that over Borklers any time. I'll just tell you that much. So let's look at all the removals and let's see if I hate them. Because I hate this. But removals, I don't care. It's somewhat fair. If you summon big minions, you have to be punished for that. Is how it is. But not like this. That's disgusting. And yes, you get punished for... Not using battle cries, which... In uh, return, crafts more battle cry cards, because... You keep getting punished. It's a weird cycle. If this thing goes to F tier... Zeddy is a problem. <laughs> But I do like this video that he just made, so... I don't know. It's a tough one. Tough trades we have to make sometimes. That costed zero mana, but... I didn't care. I just don't see that many removals. I don't know what the fuck... It, it made such a cringe move. 
At least he didn't release the video. But it triggered me so bad. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. And this was before rotation, so it might just be a lot worse. But there's shit like this. This is a removal, by the way. And a Borkler. Congratulations on making it this far. Now, Freeze feels like a removal at this point. Freeze, Freeze, Borkler. It's still just a Borgler, mostly. The most laughable card in existence. They try to print removals and nobody wants to play them. Like, nobody plays this shit. Nobody, bro. They return sap, no, nobody really cares. They buff this card, uh... Doesn't matter. It feels like it... It was six mana for some reason. Return this card, does nobody plays that. Like, it's fucking hilarious. The removals are a problem because they're not a problem. They don't do shit. And the way you have to construct removals now is just like, they deal damage. X is actually being played somehow. That's kind of crazy. Maybe people are just desperate. But normally, like, you deal damage. To the face or to a minion this is a bad example because nobody wants to play shit that just removes things but at least it's an excavate card so it has some kind of reason to exist this is a quadruple removal it's basically a borkler so it just there's nothing to it warlock is the closest you can get i believe and removing things and it's still shit. You're better off doing this than this. I'm just saying. I say that there's a lack of removals. If anything. Yeah, Warrior's a little bit annoying. This is a removal and a Borkler. Which is disturbing. Mostly a Borkler. What can be a removal, too. They're, they're kind of shifting the focus into making Borglers into removals instead of removals into clearing, like, two minions or something. Or uh, being a double removal. Like, what? There's something to it, but I, it's not a problem. It's just... Fine. For Zeddy to mention it is just the greatest cringe of my lifetime. <laughs> what? The Titans, though, are fucking annoying because they most of the time have removals, too. That's, uh, that's for sure. But Titans... Yeah, they kind of belong in their own category. There's technically a, a category of class giants. And we can talk about it, to be honest. Class Giants. There are things in every class that is just a giant threat that can come down and annoy the shit out of people. Because class legendaries just have to be more powerful than normal legendaries. Which kind of makes sense, but you must understand. Then you lean towards your class legendaries to do most of the work. Which, uh, you know, like, why? Why are they the win conditions? Why are they so powerful? Not only they're more powerful, but like, ridiculously powerful. This shit is crazy. And you just gaslit into believing that it's a 4-6 dragon, you know, like, that's it. And this one I can still understand because it requires dragons. This one requires hero powers. When legendaries just stand alone fucking insane, like this titan bullshit, it makes no sense to me, to be honest. If a legendary is overplayed, of any kind, whether class or not, I hate it. But there's always an, an, an expansion, a keyword, being printed. So let's look at all those giant legendaries that we hate. 
That's it. That's all we're gonna have to do. Class Giants. I hate it. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. Sure. I hate it. So that's two. That's three that I hate. Fine. It's okay. I almost hate it. I very much fucking despise this card. Please delete it from the game. That's four. Well, we're not done yet. Uh, oh, it's okay. I can deal with that. We're not done yet. Right now, most of the shit rotated out, actually. It's kind of fancy. So let's go a little bit back. You know, it's more of a historic thing. There's nothing here going on. It was poorly designed. I mostly mean uh, Duncan City. That was the first instance of, like, what class legendaries are insane now. They're colossal. And they have to be played in every single goddamn deck. This is normal. Like, I have nothing to even look at, bro. Barely. But then you have this colossal shit. All off. The most powerful one, but I actually don't hate it. Because it just damages the board. That's fine. I hate this one. Fine. I hate it because I've seen it way too many times. I do hate this one. Rabato is like... Kind of okay. I actually hate Glog. Because I often enough die from it just the same way that I kill my opponents with it. It feels pretty fucking cheap. I hate four so far. This one I hate. Despise, bro. They did the same thing with Warlock. Oh! What's a legendary supposed to have? A Twisting Nether attached to it, of course! Why didn't we fucking think of that? Over and over and over and over again. With a bullshit Twisting Nether. They even had to nerf one of these. And buff it back again because they were too scared. The first time they had to nerf it. It's kind of crazy. Neptulon has been a player for sure. There's a point somewhere. Additional point. And we're just digging into the depths. Then there is class legendaries. There is quests. I mean, not class heroes. Right? So, uh... We hate that. We talk about this so many times. So many of them had to get nerfed. So unbelievable to me. If I type hero, here we go. Here we go. A lot of them I hate. Ariel I hate. Great example of insanity. And a lot of them got nerfed. Was got nerfed, all that shit. Disgusting. Mage Quest is still a, a nuisance. It's it's a fucking B, bro. The way they treat class giants. The moment there's a theme, prepare yourself to get fucking upset. The most disturbing change you can make is. You can only play one zero card, zero mana card, a turn. That would be fucking disgusting, bro. But it would fucking fix the game instantly. Let's go. I didn't mention this in the weapons section. Just two pieces of shit. I'll give myself a bonus. Let's take a peek in Lich King weapons. Nothing, right? Well, the Hunter one is kind of cringe. One more. Oh, well, it wasn't a problem until recent. Well, fuck this. Often enough, it is a problem. What the fuck? That's a problem? Jesus Christ, what? Be careful with weapons, what the hell? Oh, fuck, this is A tier now. 
it's at least something you have to keep in mind that you have to have taunts because weapons are really disturbing. Alright, finally we're gonna draw from this thing. Predictable win conditions. And I, I just don't know how to type. Conditions, bro. So it looks off, but like... I hate that part. I hate... There's some kind of ambiguity going on in my brain. And I hate it. Predictable win conditions, let's think about it. This one does feel repetitive. But it is one of those things that I don't necessarily like. That there's overall theme. Very strong overall, overall theme for the decks. They have a very, very predictable pattern of behavior. And still, you can't play around it. That's the big problem here. Despite knowing, you can barely do anything about it. The most predictable thing when I was having to fight bots is that Grave Strength can happen, so I have to remove all their minions. You know, that was something I was able to do. But people don't like when you predict their moves. You know, that fucking sucks. But at the same time, they don't like losing, so they have to do predictable things. It's even weirder. And it's easier that way to understand what your win condition is, but your opponent must not be able to play around it. Oh, God. Awful. That's That was win condition, and it's very predictable bullshit. This is not predictable. But this was super annoying. Blood DK overall is gonna continue to haunt me. All the OTK decks, there's many of them. Many, many, many. But none of not many of them are predictable of when they're gonna pop off. So it's a little bit more complicated with OTKs. So uh, they don't necessarily just give me points, free points. Sharpshooter is the hardest to predict. Holy shit. That's the scary part with sharpshooter. That's when it fucking stings you like a bee. For sure. But we're talking about predictable. Where are we going? Unpredictable. Going the opposite way. I'm not going to talk about this part, but that part is predictable that you want to summon this one thing. You just want to do one thing only, and I have to play around it. I have to understand what it is and play around it. That's annoying, but it is what it is. With hero power, it's pretty predictable. Now, whether it's going to be a problem, I'm not sure if the score is going to be reflecting how big of a problem that is. In this case, I want to actually play one game. Most of the time I can predict what my opponent is doing, and that pisses me off. Every single class feels predictable. Let's see, we have Demon Hunter, which is obvious. Hunter, obvious. Wheel Warlock. Obvious. Death Knight, Rainbow Death Knight. Or Plague. Just everything Warrior, feels sir. obvious. Warrior feels obvious. That kind of pisses me off in these recent times. Things being predictable. Holy shit. And I'm able to just look at the game and sort of predict the outcome of the game as well. At maybe turn 5 you can tell who's gonna win. The fuck he needs coins for? To piss me off that the game is not predictable no more. Oh, they need to play Odin, I remember now. That's why they need points. Sorry about that. Can predict that part. I guess that's cool. Borklers, let's go. Borklers actually cool. You won't be able to predict what I do. What the fuck is going on? That's what I want, but usually I don't get something like that. What is happening? I love the game when it's unpredictable like this. 
fucking awesome. I don't know what's gonna... That's the most important aspect. I mean, that's somewhat cool and reasonable. I didn't lose much when he did that. But now I know that he's Highlander. So fucking interesting. I got the opposite effect, but like, shit. Whatever's going- like, I'm excited about the game. There's gotta be like... B tier. Jesus. It's so weird. And Marvel Snap you have completely unpredictable gameplay. That's what makes it so cool. I have taunt. I have learned my lesson. Me has taunt. Still has removal though. Me, Me too. Hey, this bitch. All right, now I can predict that he's not gonna win because he doesn't have a proper win condition. But he has all the removals for some reason instead of burglars. It's a cheap Reno deck. That draws all the cards. Alright, that fucking sucks. Okay, that's so annoying. No, it's just... Yeah, it's arena bullshit. I have enough big enough minions. The game is so unpredictable, it's so cool. Anything can happen with these tendrils now. And he doesn't quite have a win condition. I can't just go face, I have to... Wait until he doesn't have a single Borkler left. Which is gonna take a while. But he trades. Into a 3-5. So weird. I can fill his hand with... Bot. Fuck it. I'm doing it. I'm not afraid. Let's fucking go, bro. You want to remove my minion? Are you sure? With all these <laughs> what is going on? Mountain Giants! We can reshuffle this now. Uh, I got the stolen bots, right? I mean, he excavated twice, I imagine. Such a fucking bizarre shit. Oh, fuck off. But he played Bran. Now it is predictable, and then the game fucking sucks because of that. But at least I did this. As long as there's hope. It's pretty nice. Shit, bro. This is so cool. I don't want things to explode, though. Shit, I have to deal with the, his reward as well. Battle Cry versus Battle Cry, just the most bizarre shit ever. Wait, he doesn't have his reward? What do you mean? Well, that's kind of fucking cool. Outside, you dare step into the place of Oh, bro, this is amazing. The shit happening moments. Jesus Christ. This is one of the best games I've ever played. I don't even know what's going on no more. Do I try and block him? I don't know. He's just gonna brawl again. Generally. Oh, that's very predictable actually, that I fucking lose because he clears the board a bunch of times. The only predictable thing. So fucking stupid. And that's why people don't want to play minions, because Borkler, everyone's scared, bro. 
Everyone's scared of this one thing up there that dominates to the max. No matter how big my minions are, they're just gonna get fucking obliterated. One, two, three. I have talked about it. But let's uh, investigate further. Because Kriperian talked about it, it's way more than I did. One drop, two drop into a three drop, which made my rogue deck really, really powerful because I was able to do infinite amount of card generation. And it was one of my best examples of going one, two, three. It's not a popular video on my channel. Gotta keep on scrolling, boys. The curved stone. So probably I didn't head. No, I don't know why this didn't pick up. Because it's cool. I like the idea of curved stone. And I showed you that you don't play five drops. I show you why. You want to, like, use every single mana crystal to the max. Every single turn, if possible. And you will ship towards control anyways, to some extent, if you have infinite card draw. I don't know if, how much I care anymore, but the biggest problem is not the curve stone part, but how slow the game is. That's the fucking, uh, the most infuriating part. To this day, I don't play anything expensive in this deck. Learned my lesson. If I'm getting random cards, they're gonna fill up the end game anyways. But it just breaks the game because Blizzard just has to print ridiculous one drops and discover one drops are deceptively good, especially shit like this. God damn it, bro. So let's look into one, two, three and see if there's some fucking outliers that we don't want to see. Like shit getting. Played on curve, Hellia on curve is insanity, bro. It's completely different than Hellia and the end game or some bullshit like that. Very different. They made it so it's temporary. But it's still pretty disgusting. The funny thing is it goes against the curve stone nonsense, so I like it. Herbstone with uh, mana crystal buffs at specific time. But at the earliest time, technically. This is also sometimes annoying, Doomkin. So anything. Well, Drew definitely was on the board on this one. This is my uh, special superpower. Some Druid mana. Hunter is uh, very toxic in all the aggro decks in general. You know why I addressed that already. But what is annoying right now is that Curvestow ha has this shit going on. So the moment you have enough minions tokens generated, you fucking saddle them up and put even more pressure. Uh, funny enough, this is not Curvestone card. But this is. It already got highlighted on a thumbnail. In fact, probably Mage heavily relies on the fucking keyboard and will be playing it the second year in every single deck. Shit like this now exists where you have to play the thing as early as possible to get maximum value, and that's kind of fucking insane. You, know? you have to play this as early as possible. I think this is where it ends, I'm hoping. Because it's genuinely very difficult for some classes to do the curved stone bullshit. Uh, D or C tier. It's pretty relevant. It's relevant in Arena. And Arena does dictate the general feeling of the game. It can reveal it of what matters. If in Arena you miss a few mana crystals, you fucking toast, bro. But it's generally something you have to take care of. Understandable. Next. A Zeddy. The Zeddy problem. Let's go. Almost out of respect, I want to, like, just put it at low tier. 
But let's double check. He feels like he's doing a good job, but not good enough. Even when he complains, even at the best video. Still doesn't feel good enough for me. But maybe just because, like, there's no actual impact. But he seems to be able to, like, you know, manipulate nerves to some extent. Influence that shit. I don't like the card review concept of just instantly, as fast as possible, revealing cards. As if we're supposed to care that much. And discuss it in the comments. It's a wishy-washy thing, but it got so many views that... Fuck it. That's his thing now. And my uh, subscription box is gonna be flooded every single expansion. And again, I, I like whenever he shows up, we know his thumbnails have clarity. <laughs> Zeddy is E tier. ZD. E. Let's go. Out of respect, we're not gonna climb anywhere with this. Pathetic synergies. Let's do that one. Let's see where we go with this. Again, I really like making these videos, so, uh, I'm glad you stuck around. I like you too now. So, synergies. Oh, let's shuffle as many plagues as possible. Because it only synergizes with one card. Yay. And then fucking giants. So technically just two cards. Synergy with plagues. Wow. What's the point of plagues? You can't buff the plagues. You can only be a, an asshole and make them infinite. There's, there's nothing to it, bro. That's just one example I can see at the moment. Dead card, my friends. Even though it's pretty good. Aggro card. Still fucking dead. Often enough, like, it doesn't have enough synergies. To go around with. They have to really think about it. It's very difficult to print shit like this. Could have been... Make a minion go dormant or... End... Remove one... One step from the door. I don't know. I don't know. To be honest... The game design sucks so bad. I should stop trying to talk about it. The spell damage synergy is awful. I mean, it works to some extent, but, like, I hate it so much that it doesn't quite work at all. And there's this small thing that God knows what it's supposed to do. Because there is no synergy for that. I tried it, guys. I tried to figure it out, but couldn't. Hunter is very generic. There's nothing to it. There's nothing to it here and potentially there's some shit just straight up missing that could have been uh, pretty cool cards the, there's nothing here like when i talk about synergy i have nothing to say to be honest Paladin is just stats and divine shield this is cool priest actually has some cool stuff that falls flat because it still gets random cards. All this fucking heals. We don't see overheal priest of any kind. We don't see nothing, bro. There's some cool shit you can do with this. And when you think of, like, cool synergies, you can do really cool stuff. Bouncing this feels awesome. This is unplayable for some reason. I don't know, this is a very complicated shit. That was triggered mainly because the failed, the archetype. There's nothing to spell damage through it that can be done. There's it, not enough tools. Valkyrie seems to work. Some synergies are really annoying and overwhelming. Yeah, greatest synergy of all time, am I right? Play Odin. Oh, wow. Play Bran. And then everything changes. How fucking cool is that? 
Everything revolves around one card. That's pretty pathetic, but like... I got not... I don't got much in this game. Maybe there's something to it and I don't see it. D. Generating legendaries. Let's bring back that Trollden thing that you need very much. Triple rune cards and titans got banned from being generated. But there's more. You know, a lot of discover effects rely on generating certain legendaries often enough. Can I find them? That's not a triple rune card. People like generating primuses. Oh wait, it's a titan. Oh, that fucking sucks, doesn't it? I was able to do that Ignis thing where I generate a bunch of Ignises to get that high roll weapon and smash my opponent. This still reminds me of uh, summoning Tyrion right after. It's kind of fascinating. They had to nerve that you can't get class cards more often. Then there's the most recent thing with this garbage thing that gets generated. Uh, the most notable generation was Alex. Alex Traza generating itself. The Highlander thing. Now we have this. Still cannot generate itself, right? This was banned from being uh, casted with tentacles. So they they have to create exceptions for these legendary cards. I generally don't care about most of these. I don't know what the hype is. There's probably none. Oh wait, there's more. One second. I mean, it is what it is. You can get copies of this, but it's understandable that there's nothing else you can do that just to say that it can only be triggered once. I don't see a problem at the moment. Just gonna look very one time in here. I don't got this. I don't know. Underwhelming to the point it's an E. There's something to it. I mean, Blizzard has to build protections from that, but it's still not a big deal somehow. I've never seen this. <laughs> what is that legendary, bro? Next. Slavery. If Blizzard actually wanted to make the game better, it's not that difficult. They don't even have to have many employees. They just have to nerf cards every single week instead of printing new cards. I fucking hate that aspect so much. So little work has to be done. Like, there's a collection of thousands upon thousands of cards. Why do we need more of them? Why do we keep using the same slavery mentality? while building this card game. I don't understand. People play this fucking old school garbage still. What the hell? That's the shit we want to see more. We want to see more obscure stuff as well. For slavery bonus points, I will look at all these neutral cards that sort of are cool, but like, nobody wants to play them. They have art, everything. They have, you know, voices. You must understand like how fucking disgusting it is. For all this effort to just be wasted, simply because wrong numbers on the card will never get played no more. Like, excuse me? We, we may never hear iconic voice lines of some kind. You can hear some cards and some cards are just like... Unknown. What does the hipster say? Some people know. Nobody opens the bucket of soldiers. I mean, it does look ugly, though. Fuck that. Yeah, it's just an overall sentiment that they make 
new cards when they're the priority is higher somewhere else. I mean, I understand maybe there's a lot of artists who want to get paid and all that shit, and Blizzard actually thinks about the employees more than the customers, even. But at the same time, like, fucking slavery, bro, I hate it. People working hard and embracing this idea, and it's like, should I make AI generated art or should I pay an artist a thousand dollars of like fucking weird, bro? If you can pay an artist a thousand dollars, who are you? <laughs> What's going on? I want to be your friend now. And finally, burst tempo over passive tempo. We have to play a deck on this one. Let's build uh, the most passive deck imaginable, and it's probably still gonna be like druid. But the the thing is, because everything dies from the board, everything gets eliminated. You don't actually get like passive values of any kind. To build a passive deck, you need like death rattles and shit to be able to attack in the first place, not to get frozen or instantly removed. It's ridiculous. Anything that has a passive value, I'm gonna put into my deck. Let's see how it goes and what we can talk about. These cards should be unstoppable and ridiculously powerful, and they are. But shit is bringing them down. Mostly Borglers. Again, S-tier problem that will not go away. They're now starting to nerf Borklers, and it's too late. Like, the Brain Rot is already fucking super in invaded. And mo as many Borklers as get nerfed, as many Borklers as get printed. You know, they only nerf just emergency nerf Borklers at this point. There's nothing to it. It's pathetic now. But at least they're trying to make me laugh. Really cool cards. These cards are amazing and nobody plays them. Shit like this. My favorite card of all time. Instead of being treated like a cool card that must be played. It is being treated as, oh my god, I have to ban it because Thaddeus. This is the coolest passive effect technically as well. That's a really cool card that has been printed. Will I be able to play Crystal Cove all of a sudden? This would be so cool. That's a nice passive card. For two turns. And the, the coolest way to break someone's weapon. Alright, let's fucking try it out. I've played decks like these and they're not bad. But the most part, important part is to have fun, so... That's the coolest part of these decks. Trying to keep your minions alive. Upgraded hero powers, look at that. And nobody plays the dude. And you will never see that in the normal games. And when the creatures have passive abilities, they trigger those abilities constantly. There's so much math involved of manipulating these cards. Like, come on, man. Yeah? This is already D, D tier, right? C is the middle. It's already in the middle of importance. Too bad I'm getting roped. That's pretty nice. He's just trying his best to fucking clear every single minion I play. And uh, it's not gonna benefit me to have this. I don't have a perfect deck where I can defend myself from fucking one drops, two drops. That generates two attack somehow. I mean three attack. And kill another creature. Fucking crazy, bro. Let's try again. I might have to run backstab instead of arrow stuff. Alright, I made him do something. With my merge salt salt card. And that's fucking awesome, bro, and it's just keep on happening. Because it's a reoccurring effect. Oh, fascinating. Finally a game I can show. He did that card. And I don't know what he's gonna do with that. Still using Merge Souls. Okay, that's pretty cool. 
the already cool things are happening. Like, what the hell? I love this shit, bro. These are my favorite cards. So, how uh, I technically could have done foot man. Aha, another passive. Probably just do this. So you just control a certain amount of the board and a certain amount of attack goes here and the Borglers don't feel so bad when passive monsters get to operate. Like it's just the best fucking shit ever. I can do something like this. What is happening here? Oh, but I don't know that Odin is a tier 3 dag, bro. Holy shit, I must be a bad person now. Yeah, so cool. To do with degenerates so often. I don't really got much to play, but I kept going forward because I have the board. And this has six bullets already. Big threat. Game over. My opponent was a noob, it seemed. Let's try one more time. I need, like, good weapons to defend my minions with. And a rogue is not quite that. Oh, beneficial to me and my hero power. Yeah, I would find the optimal play pattern with this. It would be pretty good deck. I did uh, Merge Seller Priest. Doesn't have a win condition, I just drowned my opponent in shitty cards. And then that's that, that's how I win, because they don't get good cards no more. Justice is mine. Not that fucking difficult to jinx your opponent. Unless Start your minions keep operation. disappearing. And then fuck that. And we shall punish everyone who doesn't want to interact. Let's go, bro. With my board. Justice is properly. mine. I don't know what to do with this. Justice I guess I think is mine. Just, just snaking around, don't mind me, bro. You can leech off the slowness of your opponent, it's so satisfying. I've loaded 10 bullets on the board. Got stolen. But this so slow, it's insane. And that doesn't do anything. Snake oil. Are you sure? Too bad I can't fucking use fire attack just yet. Justice is mine. Today I've never seen anything like this. You bet, bro. Is this a control priest? That's a weird one. Shit, I don't know, man. Can I please get the good stuff? Man, this is too good. What am I gonna do? Let's go fucking smash face. Is what Justice it is, man. Is mine. No, of a okay, and we got a problem. Fucking six nine. Jesus Christ. Can we shoot him down? Eight bullets. Mm, we can do something. I mean, we can just kill it. And continue on our journey. Just <laughs> full health already. Fuck yeah, life steal is so awesome. Back at full health. And snake gets removed. Oh, I guess that's something. I can kill it, wow. 
whatever. Smart move. My opponent didn't know what the fuck to do, and that's good enough for me. It seals the deal. Still just a C, but if more people contribute to this, it's probably much better than we think. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, there's more to come, much more. This is an intense fucking battle against problems.